Start by setting up the spot kick goals 12 yards apart. Find a partner and another pair to play against, and you're ready to get started. Teammates will separate and stand by opposing goals. In this example, the team wearing those sweet black spot kick tees will begin gameplay. The first player initiates play, kicking the ball toward the opposing goal. If the ball is kicked in the air, a teammate may attempt to redirect the ball to score points. The teammate then kicks the ball back toward the original goal. After that, the second team will follow the same procedure. When all participants have had the chance to kick the ball, a round is complete. This process continues until the first team reaches exactly 25 points and an equal number of rounds have been completed. If the score is tied at 25 after an equal number of rounds, then an overtime round is played. The team with the highest number of points in that round wins. If the score is still tied, the process repeats until we have a winner. Playing with one goal works in a very similar fashion. This game is used with the spot kick single or with a large crowd who would rather play than spectate. If you have two goals, you can choose to play the one goal system accommodating eight players at the same time. Set up the cones at one end of the playing area and the spot kick goal at the other. Once again, partners stand opposite each other. The players at the cones are designated kickers while their partners at the goal are designated trappers. After a ball is kicked and points are awarded, the ball is passed back to the next kicker on the opposing team. When each team kicks once, a round is complete. When the first team reaches 13 points and each team has played an equal number of rounds, kickers and trappers switch roles and spots. Players will stay in these switched positions until the conclusion of the game. Now, let's see how to score some points. When the ball is kicked, points are awarded based on the unique spot kick scoring system. Let's take a look. Spot kick uses a 1-3-5 scoring system. Let's see an example of each. In order to score one point, a kicker simply passes the ball on the ground to score a traditional goal, rolling the ball directly through the spot kick goal. The trapper cannot assist on this play. Not only does this scoring option provide an easy goal for younger or novice players, it is also the way most games come to an end, since teams must score exactly 25 points to win. To score 3 points, the kicker launches the ball into the air and hits the goal anywhere, posts or crossbar, before it touches the ground. The ball can hit the goal with or without partner assistance and must make contact with the top platform or the legs before it hits the ground. To score 5 points, there are two options. The first option occurs when the ball is kicked in the air and is trapped into the spot kick hole, known by true spot kick aficionados as the spot. The other way to score 5 points is the reverse. This occurs when the ball is kicked in the air and trapped into the rear entrance of the spot kick goal. In this scoring scenario, the ball must be received in the air, but may touch the ground after. Points are awarded as long as the ball goes through the spot kick goal. The final scoring option is the instant win. This occurs when the ball is kicked directly into the spot. Remember, when kicking the ball, no part of the ball can be in front of the leading edge of the goal. Finally, sometimes when a ball is kicked, it may come to rest with some of the ball in the spot kick goal and some outside the goal. If this occurs, no points are awarded. Just like in soccer, the entire ball must cross the line completely. Now you're ready to get out there and start playing Spot Kick, the backyard game that raises your game.